Hi, I'm Scott Milliken. I'm the lead developer for the OpenDCIM project. This video will be a short demonstration of how to set up your mapping for a data center with a floor plan. Um, the uh, OpenDCIM installation uh, does include one sample uh, floor plan, and that is called example.php or uh, .png. Sorry, and um, I have gone ahead and set up my original uh, first data center which I'm calling main DC with the floor plan for my main data center so this is just a sample one I created it in Visio um, I just used one layer for the um, for the floor and laid out my grid and of course I put my letters along one axis and my numbers along the other so that I could have a, uh, uh, a unique coordinate system uh, and then I put in my uh, other pieces of infrastructure that I wanted to lay out within the room. And then I have my cabinets. Now you can decide whether or not to color them uh, or not. The OpenDCIM application will actually overlay um, colors onto the cabinets that you define based upon your capacity in those cabinets. So we're going to go ahead and um, start off uh, assuming that you have your map here. Um, first thing you have to do is create a cabinet. Now I've already created cabinet AB04 during my installation. So we're just going to come over here and you'll see just kind of a, 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 a crude visual of what the cabinet looks like. If you scroll down to the middle you'll see a button here that says map coordinates. So if you click on that it will bring up your image and it has X and Y coordinates, X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Um, rather than entering in those coordinates, you simply come over to the corner and you draw a rectangle around the space that you want to be represented by the cabinet that you're working on, which in this case is AB04. When you click Submit, um, it will save that. And now if you go back to the data center um, view, you'll see that we have a cabinet that is now green and that's because it has um, plenty of capacity in terms of space, weight, and power. Um, so just to illustrate um, how that will change, let's uh, create a device and um, we'll just make a test device here and we will uh, make it, uh, let's say, 35 views tall. Okay, So if we place it in here at position 1 and uh, we don't really put any other additional information in here for it. Uh, then when we go back you'll see that we're now in the red in terms of our space. So if we look at our map our cabinet has now turned red. Um, that's because by default you're looking at a composite of space, weight, and power. So if we were only looking at weight, it turns green again. If we were only looking at power, it turns green. But if you look at space, that is the one element that makes it red. So we'll go back to the overview. Um, and these colors are defined in the configuration screen. Um, there's a one for critical and one for uh, warning. So if we were to back this down to say maybe 28 U's, Then when we look, it is now yellow here, and when we go to the map, it will show a yellow overlay here. Um, also, the coordinates that you set for displaying the overlay are the same as the hot map. You notice I can click here instead of having to utilize the tree um, to navigate to a specific cabinet. Okay, So in a nutshell, that's pretty much it for mapping out your cabinets into a data center. Hope this has been helpful.